everyone, it is David with you, and it is Wednesday, the 20th of February, 2013. It's about 4 p.m. Pacific time. Markets are closed. I've got the Kitco screen up here, as you can see. And obviously, we had another wonderful day in the metals markets. Uh, gold off 40, silver off 88 cents, almost a dollar. And the other two white metals were hit pretty hard as well uh, platinum, palladium, and you can see the numbers. Uh, just as a way of review, what I said in the last update was just a few days ago <clears throat> is what I look for on a washout and a sign of the end of the decline is when silver's sell-off percentage-wise is about double gold, which it actually was in the morning on the open, about 3% here on silver and 25 on gold. So gold is falling almost as much in percentage terms on today's basis in the last few, actually, as silver. Uh, regardless, we're in the territory where I think we definitely need to talk about, you know, where this market is potentially headed and, you know, what the appropriate actions could possibly be. So looking again at uh, a two-year gold chart, again, I like to look from a longer-term perspective at times kind of, <clears throat> it helps me to sort of calm down, look at the bigger picture. If we go back and take a, a deep breath and look at two years ago, uh, what we would find is that we're sitting there at a level of gold being around uh, the $1,500 mark or so, and we got this nice, you know, parabolic run, very minor parabola, but pretty steep increase and an equally steep decline, and then it kind of found its way, and then obviously made another run and exceeded this 1577 here uh, near the middle part of the summer July August time frame and then it really took off as we know topped out in 1920 according to stock charts 192370 if you want to go on the continuous contract and then it got whacked and came down and basically over the last year and a half or so we've been in this wide oscillating uh, consolidation period. Not unusual for any commodity uh, to get a, a big run up and then a consolidation. Manipulated or not, we've got to accept the fact that this is what the market prices have shown us. So now let's focus a little bit in on what's happened here most recently over in the far right side here. 